Hello, it's Scott Manley here with a quick preview of what is to be expected from the next Kerbal Space Program expansion. Version 0.90, better than ever. This is entering beta and we start out with biomes available on every planet. These have been created by a member of the community, Tanuki Chao, and we have uh, details for every single planet. We have new, bigger Mark III plane parts by Porkjet, who did the previous Space Plane plane plus parts. Fine print has been integrated, adding much more variety to contracts and missions. The astronauts of your Kerbal Space Corps now all gain experience, they gain skills, you have scientists, engineers and of course pilots. The editor has been completely revamped with custom, uh, custom categories and rotation controls that are much easier to figure out. This is going to make building shuttles a whole lot easier. In career mode now, you have the option to upgrade your space center to make the buildings better, more capable. This adds a huge amount of gameplay and... And, you know that tier 2 R&D center seems to have had it a bridge. Well, you know what? Forget about this preview. I am not one to argue with tradition, but I'm pretty sure that there's somewhere that says if a bridge appears in Kerbal Space Program, you have to try flying under it. It's the Kerbal way to do things. So let's see how long it took me to figure this one out. Looking good, looking good, looking... Too low. Too low. Undercarriage, working as planned. Unable to pull out in time, unfortunately. We need more Gs. Not too... Oh, not, not too high, not too low, and... Oh, no! Yes, okay. Ah, he's still flying. Okay, I got this. I've totally got this. Are we ready? We're gonna land on the wheel. Ah, okay, I don't got this. Well, next, 68 meters up, landing. Okay, oh, running along. Pull up. Yes. No. Kinda. It, it is. Look, I did sort of do it. We just need to land this thing, which is hard considering it doesn't have longitudinal stability. Ah, oh, that was great. Success. Sort of. No, not a success. Actually. We still have a couple of wings. Oh, uh, we still have one wing, so it's technically sort of a plane. Okay, that's a partial victory. Time to refine it. How you bridge designers didn't plan on having... Okay, well, you did plan on me flying into it, but let's try again. And... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Look, we still have control. Is this a success? Landing gear out. Oh, something exploding in the background there. Look, oh yes, we have wings, we can totally fly, we can touch the sky, and we can put self down. Ah! Oh! Okay, third time's the charm. Extra slow, 68 meters, 69. Oh, no! Yes, well, so much for that. Oh, and it's still flying! Okay, let's see how long it lasts. This is lasting a really long time. A really, really long time. This looping, of course, is a fine example of the center of lift being in front of the center of mass. And a near flawless touchdown on the roof there. That will be one for the record books. You know, I really need air brakes. This is happening too fast. Oh, oh, no, down, no! Yes! Well, um, at least I didn't destroy the R&D lab. Okay, tried to approach from a different angle, and I think I... Yeah, okay, that was a really bad plan. I thought I'd be able to sneak through there and skip past that building, but instead I hit a completely different one. Another angle! Uh, yes! No, yes, kind of! Yeah, ow. I think this is maybe three meters wide at most. I can totally see the Kerbal Devs watching this and realizing they need damage states for this bridge. Oh, yeah, well, never mind. I think I'm going to add some more wings to this to make it fly even better. Here we go. Ah, too low. And too slow. And gone. You don't get experience from dying in this. Okay, here we go. Extra wings. We have cut down the amount of fuel to make the whole aircraft a lot lighter. Get very low. 68 meters, merely a couple of meters above these grassy plains. Very carefully hold the approach. We've made it over the lip, we've made it under, and we pull up, and we miss everything by a fraction of a meter. Victory is mine. Okay, now what was I up to? Oh yeah, uh, Kerbal Space Program, 0.90.
Well, yeah, I guess it's going to be released soon. Look for it. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. <laughs>